Hi there. As promised, here's a short tutorial video looking at how we can insert a portfolio page, or as we've called it, a recent project page, into our website that uses the Good Space theme in our WordPress blog. Now, it sounds complicated, but it's very simple. Let's take a look at an example first of all. So here we can see on our homepage, we have a small box that brings in the latest of our six portfolio pages. Let's go and look at the Isle of Wight. So here's our link, which is the Isle of Wight logo. But if I click on that logo, it takes me off to the portfolio page in which I've used an image of the stage and to the right hand side of which we have some descriptive text. We have the client's name, we have a date of course, and we have some tag words here which just help Google find your page. If I go back to the home page, you'll notice I've already created in Blue Peter style a portfolio page just for you showing you how we made this tutorial. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and make our image for this portfolio page. Now I know you're using Photoshop Elements, which is a great tool. I'm using Photoshop. Here we can see I found an image of some fencing at a festival and I've added the text portfolio tutorial for Kath. What's important here is to make sure the image is about the right size. If I go to image, image size, you'll see I've already resized the image to 900 pixels by 600, which is a safe size to use for the web. Anything too big and the client has to wait for it to load and it might look a bit squeezed and a bit pixelated. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save my image for the web and great, I've used a medium quality, a JPEG, and I'll simply click save and put it into a folder so I know where it is so we can use it for our blog. So let's go along to the actual portfolio page itself. Great, here it is. So how do we build this page? Making sure we're logged into our dashboard, I'm gonna simply then Go to the Edit Portfolio. And if we look at the page itself, we have, as per usual, the title. And I've simply put a couple of words in saying text here. Of course, you could be more elaborate and add much more text there, a couple of paragraphs perhaps. But now the interesting part, if we scroll down the page slightly, we can see a few options that we need. For example, we have Client's Name. In here, I'm gonna put your name, Kath. We can put a link to a particular website. So just for example, I'm gonna put in um, the website of my company. And more importantly, down here towards the bottom, we need to make sure we have thumbnail types, image, use featured image as a link to the current post. Inside post thumbnail types, again, just image is fine there. And when you create the new page, we're going to click on this upload link here to tell it what our new image is. Now I've already inserted the image, but once you've got your image created, simply click on the upload link, select files, now you'll know where you've saved the image to and you would simply double click on the image you'd like to use. Actually, I'll do this again just to show the process. So here's my cath test image, double click, it uploads and we want to insert into post just down here. So if you give that a click, your image will then upload and appear just here. That's great. So that tells the, the website that's gonna be the big image on the portfolio page. But what if we'd like to use a separate image for the link? For example, I'll just explain what that means. 
So here's the home page. Here's our link to the Isle of Wight Festival, again, which is our logo for the Isle of Wight. We click on the link, we then go off to the page showing the big image, which is separate from the Isle of Wight logo. It might sound complicated, but let's go back. So here we have the image for our big page, but up here we have featured image. If we set featured image, we can now use a different image for the link itself. Uh, let me just see if I can go off and source an image. I must have load saved. Okay, great. So here's an old image I'm going to use for our link. And again, this image could be the same size as a big image. So it could be 900 by 600. If I'm happy with that image, again, I'll click on insert into post. Oh, sorry, no, excuse me. I click on use as featured image. That's the important bit here, not insert into post, use as featured image. So I'll give that a click. And already we can see on the right hand side, it's popped it into our featured image box. Great, so we're happy with that. We can simply click off this box here and it goes away and we can see we have our featured image saved there. I'm making sure that in the categories, I want it to show up in our all category as all portfolio pages will. And then I could also put it into a subcategory, for example, cath test or music festivals, doesn't really matter. And then if I'm happy with that, I'm going to click update. And now if I go back to our home page, we'll see we have our featured image here as the link. And if I click on the link, it goes off to the portfolio page that we created, our cath test portfolio page. And we have our big image here of the fencing with the very glamorous bins in front with a bit of text our client name, and the few tags that we added. Okay, great, so that just covers how to create a portfolio page with a separate link image or a featured image, and then a large image in the portfolio page itself. I hope that makes sense. You might need to watch the video a few times, but any trouble, feel free to give me a call. All the best.